After creating those placeholder screens, you have to start adding some static content that goes into the course. So just to save time, what I've done is I've already added the text that is required and some placeholders like this one for a simulation. I wanted a 952 by 574. I easily added this placeholder by clicking this rectangle and creating this placeholder. The placeholder is indicated with a cross sign where you can fill in an object in an InDesign document. So I'll just delete this. So I've created this using the exact resolution in which I have, I'll be recording the simulation. So I've done this and then for the rest of the screens, I have done the same. For this also, I've added a static image that I wanted for the screen, a title and some text that goes with it. For the Captivate Interaction, I've added an exact size of the placeholder image. Here for video also, we can quickly add a placeholder image so i will just do that right now and this is a placeholder so when we add a video it will be of this exact size that will be added now let's see how we can add the images which will act as a slideshow for us in the interactive ebook so here's the page where i want to add the slideshow so i will create a placeholder here and here's my placeholder of the size uh, that I want the images to be. So with that done, I will go to folio overlay and I will select image sequence. With that done, I have to click this folder to load the images. And here's the folder which has the images. So I will select that and click OK. All those images will be added here and then I can have uh, all the settings done. And the settings that I want to do for my ebook is that I want to show first image initially because I don't want it to be a blank screen. I want it to autoplay uh, and uh, I don't want to tap to play or pause. I want to swipe to change the image so that I, when I swipe left, it goes to the next slide. And if I swipe right, it goes to the previous slide. I will also do a loop. And with all those uh, options selected, we are good to go. So with that, let's go to the next step.